morning, Grace Community Church. Um, super cool to get to connect with you guys virtually a little bit this morning. Uh, so yeah, special trip that we've gotten to take um, with the Smiths out here to Denungit and just to see what God's been doing through them and through the church here. So today, this morning, we got to meet with the leadership here uh, in Denungit and it was really interesting to see uh, they, they were struggling with, hey, what do we teach next? Because translation still hasn't come full circle yet, so they don't have all the uh, books of the New Testament yet, so they keep going back and review. But they're kind of like, hey, what do we teach next? So one of the things we did was we sat down and we said, okay, let's, let's look at what are the needs of the church. So we looked at some of the main points of the different books in the New Testament, and we had them work out which books then would be best or what book would be best to teach to address those needs. And so that was really awesome to see them work through that and then come together and realize, hey, the book of Galatians, that's, a, that's a, the one that the church needs now. So there was that, and then they, they said, hey, you know, one of the things that's a struggle is uh, people keep going back to their old thinking and their, the, the way that they used to handle their problems before they were Christians. Uh, how do we help them through that? And so we talked about that and how the book of Galatians would address some of that. Um, and then they said, hey, one of the things that's a struggle for us as a leadership team is we want to be better unified and hold ourselves accountable better. How, how do we do that? And so we talked through some of those issues and how that could be addressed. And it was really, really neat to see how uh, they're really wanting to best glorify God as a church here and, and not just play, as they say, play church. They wanted to really be the church. So that was really an awesome time this morning. Well, we're doing that now. Good morning, Grace Community Church. We love you guys and miss you. Um, we had the privilege of uh, going on a trip to Denonget with the Gary and Esther. Um, it was such a privilege to just be present alongside them and interact with the Denonget believers. We even got to sit in some church meetings and talk about church planning principles and even talk about practical things like uh, building a house um, in the bush. And yeah, it was a great time and we had some good family time. We love you guys and thank you so much for your prayers and support. Hi, Grace Community Church from Denungit. We have loved being in here with Jonathan and Devin and all the kids. Um, we've loved seeing the Denungit Church again and reuniting with them. Um, it has, Devin and I went Friday morning to the ladies meeting here and it was so sweet just to hear of uh, their faith in God through this past year of a lot of unknowns, a lot of date changes from us that we've communicated back and forth when we thought we'd come and didn't come and all that. It was really uh, fun too to introduce Jonathan and Devin, not only as family, but as another missionary supported by Grace Community Church. Um, and to explain to them again that you guys are praying for us and sending us money and encouraging us and that you guys are such a part of the work that God's doing here in Denungit. So a fun part of the end of our trip here at Denungit is uh, myself and Nathan and Zach are actually gonna hike out um, instead of fly out like the rest of the family is. Uh, we're gonna hike out to a somewhat neighboring uh, people group. Uh, we believe uh, the name of their um, language is Nimi. Uh, some have said it's called Sama. It's about a two-day hike, uh, not, not the easiest hike from what I hear, a little bit muddy sometimes. Uh, we're going to go with at least one or two elders uh, or teachers here from the Denonga Church, and we're just going to kind of check out this talk place. Uh, you could call it a survey, call it a rapid assessment, just to check out what's the language vitality like, are they even interested in having missionaries come minister amongst them, um, and even some demographic info about the people group. So looking forward to that, It'll be a little bit challenging. So about two, three, four days we'll be hiking on the road and we'll just take some public transport back to Garoka area when we're done.
Bye, Grace Community Church. We love you guys. Miss ya. Hi, Gigi and Pop Pop. Hi, guys. Love you guys. All right, bye. Bye, Pastor Brad. Bye. 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 bye.